Securities, because Simon, Aussie yields were actually slightly lower today after Glenn Stevens' speech. What did you make of that? Yeah, it was really interesting, actually. Only a point or two. We've seen the same thing in the US as well. So there's been a bit of volatility over the last couple of days, very much driven by that oil price. Mm. Um, you know, investors moving back into some uh, more growth assets. So you would have expected to perhaps see those yields drift up, but not pretty steady, no real action at all. U.S. deals were also weaker, but that was obviously due to negative U.S. data that came out. Yeah, we had a little bit of softer data. Uh, some housing finance data just hasn't met, and that sort of flows into a bit of a theme recently. So, you know, that's just, uh, I, I suppose, a sort of limiting confidence of investors over there. So not a lot of movement in the U.S. either. All right, Sunshell, appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. Greg, the question next is, I guess, what's the RBA going to do? Because